Hey, what's up guys, it's your boy Baidi back again with another video. In this one, we are wrapping up with this to-do app. And what we have for you today is this. We are working on the due date, okay? We want to be able to know the amount of time that is left to have a task completed. For example, if I have a task and the task is record a video, okay i want this to be completed by tomorrow okay and i click submit it should give me one hour 17 minutes because it is already 10 42 p.m so the time to tomorrow is just one hour 17 minutes remaining okay now if i update it to another day let's say on the 14 and i click on update it's giving me one day one hour so this is what we want to implement in this video and I hope you will enjoy it. If you're new to this channel, my name is Abaji and I hope you will click on that subscribe button so that you will not miss our future updates. But before we get into this video, I want to show you some cool places in my country. So sit back, relax and enjoy this short clip. So now that you enjoyed, hopefully you enjoyed that short scene, I will now take you through this implementation. All right. So let's see how this is done. I have all the codes right here on the blog side and it's just very simple. All we need to do is to define the due date. Like, okay, I forgot to show you this. Like if I have a tax completed, for example, if this is completed, if I click on update, and I click on complete it and I click update it's gonna scratch it out that's the one right here and it's gonna say the date that this was supposed to be completed all right it's gonna give you the actual date instead of the time left all right so that's what we're gonna do in this video and that's what this force part is doing so we're gonna say if it has is completed or if tax dot completed is true then you're gonna strike out that particular task and then show the due date okay else that is if it is not completed we're gonna show the task and then we're gonna have another variable beside it okay so this will be the due date and we're gonna have this Django time filters so we're gonna have time until so this will actually give you how long it is from your current time to the time that it was supposed to be completed or the due date okay so let's do that now i'm gonna copy this code i'm not gonna copy the entire code what i'm gonna do is this i'm gonna switch to the text editor okay so this template right here is the list item or the list task template all right so that's what i'm gonna open 
so that's right here list task so now I'm gonna scroll down to this list of tasks if a task is completed like if task.completed is true we're gonna add comma then the task dot due okay I'm gonna have task dot due so that's the variable right here or the field due okay so that's what we're gonna have right here tax dot due so if I save it and I refresh the app you can see that all these two tasks that I have completed right here have a due date displayed so that's what that is doing right there okay so but we want if the task is still running or the due date is not yet or is not yet completed all right we will want to display how much time we have for that task to be completed so right here I'm gonna have where the time will be counting down okay so right beside the task is where I'm gonna do the countdown and that's what we have right here we're gonna have span and due so this will be the label then tax the due time until okay so I'm gonna copy this line and paste it right here okay so just by doing that if I save and refresh the app I have the timer right here okay due two weeks four days okay now if I undo this task or this other task remove the completed checkbox you can see that one also says due one day one hour all right so we're gonna format this time or we're gonna style it and the styling is right here okay so we are styling this span we already have it right here so I'm gonna apply just the styling I'm gonna copy this all the way here and then paste it right in here so we're gonna float it left oh sorry float it right and then we're gonna have a class timer so we're gonna style this timer if I save it and refresh we're gonna have the float right there okay so that will take it to the right hand side of the element that it is in okay so let's style this folder I'm gonna go back to the blog and copy the timer CSS code so for the CSS code we're gonna set the background to this reddish color we're gonna set the border radius to 5 px and then a padding of 5 px I'm gonna copy and then paste it right here just below the save okay let's indent that save it and then refresh here voila we have that styling applied to it so this is how simple it is to apply the countdown timer to your app so i hope you enjoyed this series if you do please click on that subscribe button if you're not yet a subscriber and if you're not yet liked this video please click on that like button and i hope we're gonna see you in our next series thanks for watching and see you soon